All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Chaos Common, perhaps soon to be renamed Metrics Development Working Group. Um, this is the last meeting of Chaos for 2023. So, and it's there's three of us here. So we're just going to talk about a few little things. Um, so um, there were a couple in, I was looking at the common um, repository. We just lost Elizabeth. And I think there were a few in here. There are just some, there are like three pull requests that are all pretty old. And I think it's part of kind of cleaning up things over the, you know, when I was talking about repository cleanup in a different conversation. I think part of this is taking a look not only within the repositories, but um, in terms of the content that they have within them, but also just kind of lingering PRs and issues. So, you know, I, I think we can solve a lot of these asynchronously and, you know, some of them were just renaming. So like I'd have to, I'm guessing this would have a little bit of a cascading effect onto the website. You know, so I just, I would just ping you, Elizabeth, on some of these um, merges. So I'll take care of, that, that was part of my plan over break, is to go through and look at issues and PRs. I have a question for you, Elizabeth. When we make updates to metrics and or metrics models or create new metrics and metrics models, um, I assume there's something else you need to do in between us approving and merging the PR and getting them on the website. Okay. Yeah, it's there's a back end uh, part in the WordPress site. You have to set up like an actual page for the thing. And then it pulls, sorry, barking. It pulls the content from GitHub, but you have to set up that shell first. And then there's also the um, blobs about uh, the, the data use and then the link to the GitHub page. So like there are different blocks I need to set up for each page. And then we record the um, WordPress number the page ID, we record that back in the spreadsheet. So there's some steps. Um, yeah. Okay. I I was, uh, so Victoria did a fantastic job of doing, um, you know, putting the, the, the permanent link on the bottom of all of the metrics model pages, but she noticed a couple of issues. And so she filed those in the metrics model and I assigned them to you because I assumed that was something that was happening between the PR and the website. Yeah, yeah, I did see those and I'm going to take a look at those. That was kind of the my idea anyway is in the break, just kind of go through all of the pages, just do a quick audit and make sure because I feel like the, and it would have been my fault that I'm missing maybe a couple of those blocks, like a couple of links to the metric um, GitHub pages or I just want to make sure that every metrics page has all the information that it needs. So yes, I'm really happy that she did that. And so that's that's gonna be during the break. I'll work on that for okay. sure. Yeah, cool. It's not, yeah, we're not in any kind of hurry on it. It's just things that she noticed. And I was curious what that actually looked like from a workflow perspective, just so I, it helps me know who to assign issues to when we find problems. That'd be helpful too, Elizabeth, if you and I are both kind of going through some of the repos to take a look at these kinds of things. Cause some of these are pretty old PRs that need to be sorted out like and I'm <laughs> you know so we're approaching a year on on that read me one and it's probably not even relevant anymore based on some <laughs> of the changes we've made so I just need to confirm that it's not relevant and close that thing so I just need to spend some time on those yeah um okay so I did um and we can pick this up in the new year too but I've been, one of the things that has been, it's kind of a, it's been a bit of a blocker is that the app ecosystem working group or context group just kind of dropped this giant document in <laughs> for us to build metrics towards. And so we've been spending, it's so big. We've been spending some time in the last call, like Vinod has a PR on like updating some existing metrics that could just now have filters that address some of these issues. It's not necessarily the creation all the time of new metrics, um, but there was kind of continuing to go through here. There was one new metric that I had put together. And so it was this metric. So this was something that the app ecosystem had talked about 
just trying to better understand like when you have an event, what happens to contributions is what this is about. And so we can pick this up next time. Maybe I can, part of this cleanup process is it'll help identify what are the lingering metrics that are out there? What are the lingering metrics models that are out there? And we can kind of start stepping our way through those. But um, just so you know, I'm continuing to work on these kind of app ecosystem things. I, Matt, can I ask a quick question? And this yeah. is more of a general question, but um, talking about actually developing metrics and we were talking a little bit earlier about growing that pool of people that work on them. Yeah. Would it be helpful like in the first of the year? I mean, I think we should have something about metric development in general in our onboarding, but maybe we could host some workshops where we take a, like a pretty straightforward metric like this and like work like do some like tra like training sessions or working sessions for people who've never done it before like come come help us do I this. Like that idea you know just to make that barrier it's almost like you know contributing to code like here's how you get started here's how we do it so just some of those kind of uh, events or or workshops however you want to call them what if we just did it here like I was going to say first, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like we spend the first 30 minutes on kind of like what we do in the community meeting when we have mm -hmm. uh, chaos con coming up we can do like yeah. 20 minutes of just onboarding people yeah and just really pushing it in our newcomers channel and um mm -hmm. i think it probably is super intimidating for newcomers yeah. to feel like they know enough to contribute but i mean they really you know people have a lot of experience and skills that they don't even realize apply here so um yeah i think that's yeah. a good idea. i like that yeah yeah i do too i think um, I think it'll require just a little more work on our part because we need to prepare and make sure that we've got some metrics to work on that are going to be really super newcomer friendly. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, maybe some metrics that are less, less digging into to GitHub and pulling trace data and more some of the, some of the other metrics where, you know, they're a combination of things because I think people can engage with those a little bit more. And I think they're less, less intimidating to newcomers than, you know, things like, you know, calculating bus factors and things like that, that can be intimidating. There's like formulas and things. I think too, some of those lower priority ones that are okay if we take a little longer on them, <laughs> you know, that nobody's yeah. waiting for them really, That but they're on the list. So mm -hmm. I think those are also good candidates. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to think about which ones we want to do and kind of do a little prep work to put the docs together and just Maybe when I'm, I'll put together a spreadsheet probably as on this list that I'm doing here and maybe a couple columns, I could just identify what I personally would think would be pretty easy, mm -hmm. you know? You could, yeah, you could also use the current metric spreadsheet. I don't know oh, if yeah. all the ideas are in there, but you could just like add a column or a comment or something or color, I don't, whatever, however you want to do it because you're the, the spreadsheet guru, so. <laughs> but it would at least kind of keep it to keep it all in one place. You wouldn't have to do another one. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, uh, that sounds. It's actually that would be. I think this will be a nice activity. I don't, I don't like things kind of all over the place. And if we can track down what we think remains, because there was even like, um, you know, Don, you had that backlog development index. Do you remember that one? You put it together in April. This is just an example, <laughs> right? Exactly. So here it's this. Do you remember this? Management issue, vaguely. Yes, right. So like just tracking down all of these things. <laughs> yeah. Like going through the- Oh, middle. oh, I remember this one. This was this was the one that I found in a blog post. Yes, that, from uh, Patricia. Put together. Yeah. Yep. yep. So just tracking down all oh. of these, I think is going to be a really good idea. Yeah. Um, and- that, okay. that one's not so newcomer friendly. That one's definitely going to take some work. <laughs> right. So that's, that's okay. <laughs> um, and maybe even to, gosh, yeah, I think this one even does have an issue associated with it. So like I can track down kind of any history that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even open the, the minutes to add my, my thing. I got so distracted. Okay. Okay, this this is good. This will, I think this will be helpful. And honestly, like, then for this group, we'll kind of have a canonical. Yes, I know it's snow for everybody. 
Sadly, yes. I know. Yeah. I would prefer beach. Um, but then we'll I at least wish I'd spent more time in sand. I know. <laughs> Agreed. But with this spreadsheet, then we'll kind of have a not a truth, but like a, a, a document that for all intents and purposes says this is the scope of the new metrics and metrics. And sure, one may have slipped through the cracks, but if it's like two years old and nobody has touched it, then <laughs> maybe it's okay that it yeah. that it has slipped through. Okay. That sounds good. Um, so then the only other thing that I had was there, there are some metric models that have, and this is one, the collaboration development index. Um, so for a while, we, when we were developing metric models, we would include existing chaos metrics with yet to be determined chaos metrics. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. And so what that ends up doing is, is it ends up creating a, a really long list of metrics that could be used in the metric model to which some are not available or they're not defined anyway. Yeah. And so I'm really inclined to only list the chaos defined metrics in a metric model. And two options would be to take the, the ones that aren't created and list them as secondary or supplemental metrics. And we just say, these are not defined. You could add these however you see fit, or just try to include this in the description like other ways to consider this, you know, how we have that text block mm -hmm. at the top that just would say, here's other things that you might want to think about as well. Yeah. I I like that idea. I mean, okay. I and I also think we should encourage people if, if those metrics that haven't been defined are important to the model, we should just develop those before we publish the model. Agreed. So that's, yes, that's kind yes. of what I had to do with the starter project health metrics model, because there were there were a couple that were already developed, but not all of them. So I had to develop some of the metrics. I, I remember that. And right, right. The starter yeah. project health metric model wouldn't have been useful at all if you're like, here's four metrics that we haven't defined. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we have plus factor and I think time to first response, right? Yeah. It already existed. So like half the model would have been. So my, my actual inclination is to include it as a part of the narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To not have secondary metrics. Hmm. Just, just because then the or things to think about in the I just I think I could write it in in such a way that doesn't have a, still a very long list of metrics. The other nice thing that this will end up doing is it ends up pushing our metric models back to like five metrics, which hmm. is always what we had talked about before. Yes, I, I was looking at some of the metrics models, but some of them have, they have so many metrics. Yeah. And so I'm going to just start issuing PRs against those metric models that if they don't, I'm going to rewrite the description, pull out the unpublished ones, and just leave the published ones in there. So... That's another thing. I'm and doing. when we when we do that, Elizabeth, when we rewrite a metric and just do a PR, is there still a piece that you have to like get to update on WordPress or it automatically does that? In theory, it should automatically refresh. Um, we have had caching issues in the past. Oh, yeah. where changes didn't um, immediately. So occasionally, for whatever reason, I need to just kick it a little, you know, like just republish it. But it should those changes should transfer over immediately from okay. GitHub. Cool. Okay. I'm just trying uh, to better understand what I need to ping you for and what I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Um, honestly, those are my my biggest things for common today. So I'm good. I'm done. It's, yeah, I didn't have anything new for the. Okay, I, um, I, I, this is always the spot where it's like when a class is going to end early, like and you're asking people, does anybody want to talk about anything else? <laughs> and one student like, no, let me go. And... No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be that student. All right, well, hey, we're done. This is it. Yay. We're done for 2023. Hooray. Awesome! Yay! My dog say bye too. As yes, you can. <laughs> goodbye everybody. And bye. we'll see like whatever, January 8th or 10th or whenever it is that we all. I did schedule a hangout uh, next 
uh, well, Tuesday at our regular well, community meeting. I don't know if anybody's going to show up, but. Eh. Oh yeah, well, and we do have a chapter meeting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I do. Yeah, that's a little bit different. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, see y'all later. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Everybody. Bye.